Women are chasing after her looks, her style, her personal swag every single hour of the day. All to gain momentary attention, temporary satisfaction, loose attraction and likes from others, especially men, on every social media possible. Because of her spiritual detachment from her Lord, her disconnection from herself, her lack of understanding of her worth and amazing inner wealth, stuck in disarray, women are giving ourselves away. Women are chasing, I mean literally racing after carnally minded, unequipped men, offering nothing but a door left wide open to sin, forgetting her position, selling her rendition of who she's been purposed to be as her soul is left in the pits, broken in bits, wanting to be instead of just being, she suffers to win. To win the heart of a pauper, not even a king. So empty inside, she settles for anything until the bling in her eyes are removed by the guise which exposed her to the visual lies. Verbalized lies, waking her up to the poisoned soul ties as she tries to break free only to realize herself again. As she tries to break free to write the story of her life using her broken soul's pen. But when she writes, her fingers become numb. Her mind becomes scattered as she struggles from within to win, but her heart is too shattered. Women following men who are just as broken, broke down, busted and disgusted, rusted from the core as much as she, if not more, from the inside out and from the outside in as she fights this spiritual war called sin. Women are trying to physically glue two broken souls split into pieces back into one, thinking that her job is done when her own internal cleansing hasn't even begun, deserting herself for love that's distorted, shortchanging herself as if she can afford it, so she leaves her God, her family, and all things known to clean his clothes, to cook his food, to drive him around in her car? No wonder why we are where we are. She even gives him her house keys for what she calls comfort for him to share in her bed. No wonder the thought of marriage is dead because there's no distinction between the married and the unwed. The milk is still free and the cows have been fed. Enough said. Women, instead of receiving, are fooling themselves into believing that his broken half, added to her broken half, will add all the necessary pieces in making her appear to be completely whole. Not accepting that her wholeness is made complete in her oneness with Christ. So she continues to pay the price, gambling her soul like a casino dice. She deludes herself into embracing lies which keep her broken every single hour of the day. Too afraid to be honest with herself, she goes unspoken, silently choking, masking behind her pain, while man sits to gain. Women, instead of her confronting herself, instead of her facing her darkest truths, she'd rather break others into her rules. And so she pollutes her family, her children, her neighbors, her community, her sisters, her brothers, anyone around, all because she's bound, but she doesn't see it. She doesn't see that she's lost and needs to be found. In fact, she enjoys the lies being told to her which keep her looking nice, too blinded behind her own pretty, acting high sedity, yet connected to the things of this world which make her internally gritty, still paying the price. Women, the nurturers. Women, the mothers. Women, the woo behind the men. Could this be the reason why there are no men? Because of the new age mentally altered women? Reminds me of the story of Adam and Eve again, when a woman led a man straight into sin. Woe has been replaced with no. No structure, no order, no head. Because most men are either occupied by sin or spiritually dead. So women think that her place is at the top of the table. Until you enter her home and find it unstable. Woman, woe, no. 
W has been replaced by the N, and man has started losing his place behind the modern-day woman who has bitten the modern-day apple. Taking man's place, what a disgrace, but that's what happens when God is replaced. You have a world without order and morals erased. Look at the pride of America's face while God silently cries for our souls to be saved. Women have become encrypted by infectious mental incidental jargon, altering her soul all for the devil's little bargain, while her virtue is starving. And then there are those men who so boldly have gotten blatantly proud that he walks around senseless, like common sense costs sense, buying into this false truth that he's more than his expense, like he can't be dispensed. He's mentally twisted cause he's riding the fence, deceiving his own self cause his mind is just that dense, intense. Inside his home, he plays the part where he's treated like a king until he gets to that doorstep where he's removing his wedding ring, the golden circle of infinity too connected to infidelity, allowing loose tricks to put the wedge in the family, and the wedge becomes wider, and the lies become lighter, because the God who created all is no longer an insider. Whoa, no, the God of creation has been put in this show, this fictitious act to distract, which religious men only know, this altered mentality has got to go. Dear women, believe it or not, we are the push behind a successful man's flow. So, women, stop starting unnecessary fights, chaos, gossiping wars, and all sorts of drama with one another. Bringing shame to a total race instead of being there for each other, helping another. Because you're trying to secure your spot, so you intrude in my space because sure of yourself you're not? But I'm not playing with you. I'm praying for you because accept it or not, you're a danger to you. Continually seeking ungodly validation, putting me in your situation to pacify your weakness? What happened to your meekness? You're slowly turning into everything you're not. You're not a man, so slow down. It's time to turn things around and give God the best of everything, of everything you've got. So women, wherever you are, arise. arise. arise.